and get your kiss on. So, how many relationships have you been in? Uh, four. I've been in two. Well, I've only been in one, but I'm on my second one right now. So, I remember you told me you've dated an American guy and then three Japanese dudes. Mm -hmm. How has dating been for you, though? Benefit? No, how has dating been for you? Um, Is it fun? Yeah. It's fun, okay. but right now I don't have a boyfriend, which means that kanashi owari happy jonai. You're not happy? <laughs> Wait, do you want a boyfriend? <laughs> I want to have someone that I like. So you don't even want a boyfriend, you just want to like someone? So why don't you just like someone then? It's hard to find. Uh, young Asians? Yeah? Okay. Because I'm major. Oh, that makes sense. <laughs> mm, hold on, I'm just using this app real quick. One sec. What app? <laughs> oh, funny you ask. It's actually called East Me East, the number one Asian dating app in the US with over half a million users. Pretty cool app. I'm an Asian guy looking for my Asian honey, so I'm just using East Me East. And if you're Asian too, you're trying to find your Asian bay, there you go, East Me East. Check it out, link in the description. You can find all sorts of people that are Asian, and Asians are pretty cool, so I mean, what? Well, can't go wrong with that. Download the app, all right. Wait, don't you have a girlfriend? Wait a minute. No, like, I use it to meet friends. Yes. I meet a lot of friends on East Meet East. You don't even have to find, you know, your bait. You could just find a friend. What I like to do, I like to go on dating sites and just become friends with women. That's what I do. Right, anyway, which one's the juiciest relationship you've been in? The last one. Mm, okay. What's the juiciest? Okay. Mm. So, what happened? Uh, we've been <laughs> friends for like one year. And then we became like boyfriend girlfriend relationship. Okay. I got so much memory in that relationship. Mm -hmm. So I feel it most juiciest. Anything like romantic that happened or anything? I don't know. The most ro romantic one is the third one. So like in Japan people confess before they get into the relationship. So the third one, uh, he confessed to me at the beach okay. in the sunset time. That's where I got romantic. I remember you told me the differences between America mm. and Japan is that there's the confession. Mm. It's basically how dating works in Japan. Like you're just friends until you confess and say, "Hey, I like you." And then there's like, you know, a decision either you date or someone gets hurt. But in America, it's more like everyone's just like feeling each other out. You know what I mean? How do you get that feel? Feel them out. Like you feel like how they're feeling, and you kind of like try to like match with that. You know what I'm saying? I don't know. Usually it'll be like slide in the DMs, tell a girl, "Hey, you got a nice ass," and then she'll be like, "OMG, that's so." romantic and then it'll kind of start like that you'll kind of be like friends with benefits be like flirting not saying we're a thing but you'll be flirting it's almost like you're trying out the demo like you can get all the things you would get from a girlfriend without having them be your girlfriend so you can like basically try them out demo them you know that's how it is everyone's just like everyone's just feeling each other out so i think there's a lot of like ho kind of shit going on you know what i'm saying a lot of hoes and fuck boys out in america jerk this is what jerk no. A jerk is just an asshole. What? What are you saying? It's less serious. I think a lot of people get hurt in America because like they'll have some special moment with someone, but then that someone has that special moment all the time with other people, and it wasn't really a big deal. And then you realize, oh wait, I guess that's how I should be. And then so everyone just kind of becomes like that. Nothing starts mattering to anyone. It's weird. It's kind of sad. In Japan, it's a little more like a fish or like a little more like real. So, but, if you wanna do that thing, you have to confess. Yeah. So you can't do the demo. In America, it's like yeah, everyone acts like girlfriends and boyfriends to each other before even being girlfriend and boyfriend. Flirting with. Yeah, they're already flirting before like girlfriend and boyfriend. That's how it is. I mean, which is good because so? good for single people. Uh, it's good for man. single people who are just trying to have fun, mess around, just trying to just talk to a lot of people. Mm. But like, I think it kind of like desensitizes a lot of people. 
I think it's kind of like when you see social media and see all these hot girls, booty, everywhere, yeah. And it's just like, your mind kind of becomes numb to it almost. And then also, it becomes like the norm. You know, it kind of becomes what you expect. Or like, you know, you like compare things, you know what I'm saying? Like girls watch romantic movies and think like, that's life, you know? It's kind of like that. Yeah, in Japan, how we say things. But in America, like, you do things first. Most of the time. Usually it's like kind of like a mix. It's like a little talking, but like a little, like, a little. Uh, usually the guy is just trying to smash, and then the girl's using him wanting to smash to like get attention. It's just a big exchange of like attention and that, like that's how it was for me. Not really, like throughout most of high school, like I just had things. Like I would just talk to girls. But, like, yeah, but we were never a thing. It was like for fun. It's just because, I don't know, I'm a thirsty teenage boy, that's why. I guess in America, you just kind of keep doing that until you find the one like you really like and hopefully they like you back too, like just as much. But a lot of times, feelings are mutual. Mm -hmm. I mean, hoes are great, you know? If you're single, hoes are great. I mean, you can't even complain, but um, I wouldn't say there's a whole lot of a lot of husband or wifey material out there. But yeah, here, people are more like, um, I like you. Will you go on a date with me? Yes. Thank you. You're welcome. <laughs> That's how it goes. Right? Here? In America, it's like, I'd be like one of those cool guys like on Snapchat, you know what I'm saying? On Snapchat, you gotta show off your drama, you gotta be like... Yeah, you gotta, you gotta kind of be like... You gotta be kind of sly with it, you gotta be like... Kind of... Yeah, I was doing that all the time. I In high school, I never figured it out. How did you know that? I just stopped caring. I think before, I was like being nice. Because you know, that's basic respect, you know? I thought people like when you're nice to them, you know? But girls don't like when you're nice to them. <laughs> so American girls basically don't like kind guys? You want all this romantic shit, right? You, there's like all this, all the romantic things you're thinking in your head, like you want that, right? Mm. But like, no you don't. You don't really want that. And the guy came up to you, did all those romantic things. It doesn't matter if they're not cool. Like you want that romantic stuff from like the guy you really like. You want that from your dream guy, right? But if they're your dream guy, they're gonna be your dream guy no matter if they do that or not. It's not like what you do, it's who you are. So once I stop being nice, not stopping being nice, but I stopped like trying. Like I stopped chasing, I guess. Cause if you're chasing, that means they're running away from you. Mm, yeah, so I just stop. I just focus on my own life. And then once you do that, the ghost chase you. Mm. You know? Like a man should never chase a woman. Like straight up. <laughs> straight up. Just think about it. When when you think about your dream guy, is he chasing you in your head? Ever? Nah, never. Your dream guy is never chasing you. He's never like the guy that's like, I will flower for you. I'm, I'm this nice boy. Like, Nah, it's always like some dude that like kind of doesn't give a fuck, but you want him to give a fuck. Wait, why are we even talking about it? We're talking about you. Hold up, hold up. What are we doing? Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, so between the American guy that you dated and the Japanese boys, which one was better? What was better, dating an American or an Asian? Well, okay, who is a better boyfriend? The best one, I think, is the last one, who is Japanese. The American guy was also pretty nice. <laughs> nice. Yeah, no, nice. Did you see that? You're not together with them anymore, right? We're uh, we, we just friends now. Alright, my bad guys. My camera died. We're gonna finish the video like this. What do you like about guys? What, what do you like in a guy? Someone that shows his feelings. You like a guy that shows his feelings? Not for everyone, but to me, only me. Oh, only you. So he's like, maybe like kind of hard, mm. but like with you, he has like a soft spot kind of thing. Mm. I I wanted to ask you, how did you get fine with girls? Fine with girls? Mm. What do you mean fine with girls? 
Mango. You're saying I'm good with girls? <laughs> really? You think I'm good with girls? Why? That's why you got a lot of quesadillas. No. <laughs> That's not it. <laughs> no, I got a lot of kids because I'm funny. Uh, they like me because I'm funny. They don't want to think for my looks. They like me for my personality. Yeah. How did you get that personality? Oh. Uh, Self-development. Just working on yourself. I don't look at other people. I don't spend all day watching YouTube videos. I spend all day making YouTube videos. Maybe I'm just cute. I don't know. Not, like, I think when it comes down to it, it's really just practice. Because like, if you've never talked to a girl before, and you talk to a pretty girl, you're like... But if you like talk to pretty girls all the time, it's like not even a big deal. It doesn't even matter. The more you talk to people, not even just girls, I'm talking like talking to people in general. The more you talk, the more natural it is, I think. It's all just practice. So, how do you practice? When do you ask? I actually practice on East Me East, the number one Dajian, Dajian, Dajian. I actually practice on East Me East, the number one Asian dating app in the US with over half a million users. I talk to all half a million of them. It's got a super high tech, top notch, state of the art, top of the line, first class, world class algorithm, integration, formula. I don't know, some sort of advanced system that helps you choose Asians that you'll bond with. So you'll be matched with people based on your preferences, religion, uh, interests, whatever. Super high tech ah! all right. There's also a live streaming service on the app where Asians from all around the world live stream and you can watch them. Didn't that sound great? You can use cool and funny face filters, all right? Who else has that? Go try them out. I know I got hella weebs and Korea boos watching right now, so you know, you guys like Asians. Make some friends, I don't know. I know a lot of my viewers are real lonely, so uh, there you go. So go download the link in the description. And I think we talked about a little, a little juicy stuff, you know, just kind of putting our feet in the juice, you know what I'm saying? Maybe you guys want us to talk about a specific topic next time. Let us know in the comments. But yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Make sure to like and subscribe and click the little ding dong to know when I upload. And I like, Boba. Shall we?